We're back to part two on the welding bed build for Weld Ring 2.0. So, anyhow, uh, where we left off last time was we were uh, working on getting the rest of the mounting points done. <coughs> um, I realize now that, you know, the next day, I didn't have all that much time to work on it, but a lot of it was figuring and this, that, and the other. But, anyhow, we're going to try to get a lot more accomplished today. Um, the goal is going to be to get everything finished getting everything bolted down um, ie one back here another one here probably or um, and then one up here somewhere I check I already kind of drilled holes for it so anyhow that's the plan is you get try to get so, some of the stuff finished up um, and then might transition over working on the the rest of the frame get everything get everything frame wise done bolted down um, it is fourth of July happy fourth more or less might have something to, to do later with family and friends and stuff like that so not sure how much we're gonna get done today but we're gonna give our best shot and uh, get to it <clears throat> so that being said let's work on cutting some uh, some plates out and getting some bolt holes in this thing I should not say bolt holes but uh, getting this thing bolted down so let's get to work and we'll see where the day leads us So quick update here. The rear mounting is uh, more or less finished. Um, I got one here, one here, one there, one there, uh, two up front there. So my opinion, this is going to be, you know, this is basically what I had on the last bed as far as, uh, you know, number of uh, bolts wise, that kind of thing. So I know this is going to be fine for what we need. Uh, I pulled my fifth wheel more or less like this with the last one um, but then again guys it is critical so you know think about it you know there's no kill like overkill don't be afraid to put more if you're if you're, if you're worried that kind of thing but anyhow uh, that's done I've kind of started up here with with the uh, bottle rack kind of mount so this is going to be this here by itself um, since there's no like I, w I wanted to keep it low like I mentioned previously to keep it uh, try to keep everything as low as I can here in the front but anyhow um, being as though this has no structure to it more or less it's just like you know very easy to bend here um, when I go it's not gonna be a big deal when I say that because um, everything else is gonna eventually go around it meaning the bottle will sit here I'll probably come off here with with an angle piece uh, come off this that way kind of strengthen it up there give it a little cleaner look you know not just a flat flat face here flat deck whatever I mean either or but also the the plate that's gonna be coming off here um, everything's gonna be welding to it more or less it's gonna be more than more than uh, more than enough uh, you know strength once we get all the sheet metal on and that's that's kind of a big thing here um, you know the the main frame is obviously built around the structure of the of the truck but at the same time uh, the sheet metal gives it a lot of rigidity compared to um, just say just a regular flatbed or whatever because we'll have sheet metal running this way you know for for a lead well we'll have it coming out here for this going over top blah 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 so we'll have a lot of a lot of strength in here more or less for for this that the other but <clears throat> um, I added this other member in right here because this is where uh, that fifth wheel hitch will go if if I do need to use it it'll more or less sit it's like a 20 by 20 ish footprint is what the uh, the description says I don't really know too much but anyhow that there 
that way it's got support up here support in the back it'll be good for that so as far as you know main members go i still got to figure out the the rear of the hitch but we're getting real close to just go ahead and start uh cutting a bunch of sheet metal and get you know getting things tacked up this here so i mentioned before i want to i'm trying to keep it as low as i can and you can you can kind of tell we're we got about an inch and a half clearance there it's kind of hard to tell on camera but um you know i don't want it to be too high but i wind up probably coming up just ever so slightly off of here maybe like three inches to give me a little bit of a a tray a shelf to to, to text yeah, excuse me um, when I go to build the boxes, we'll build this first. We'll build, we'll build the bigger section, the, the deep part of it, and then we'll kind of step the box up over the wheels just, just a little bit to kind of give like a shelf uh, to, for things to, to sit on, that kind of thing. But the actual, I mean, this, this box is going to be huge. Uh, I'm pretty sure I already said that, but being that we had the four link and everything, I cut the, you know, I cut everything off the back end so where we're able to drop right down next to the frame. And man, this thing is going to be. It's gonna be nice, uh, you know, be able to stick rod buckets down in there, bevel machines, you know, you name it. I mean, it's gonna, you probably uh, fit your small kit in it if you wanted to, you know, they're being bad or whatever. I'm just kidding. But <clears throat> anyhow, uh, just got a few more things gonna do before uh, I gotta go get the sheet metal off the trailer. Um, but as far as mainframe goes, we're pretty much, um, like I said, just got the hitch to figure out yet, but. Uh, you know the bumper pull that is but as far as the mainframe we're more or less done with that we'll add in a few members here or there where we need it if I see fit but next thing is just going to be getting a bunch of sheet metal over here and and figuring that out so So, um, this is what got accomplished so far. Uh, I've just started to work on where the fuel is going to go. Um, this is where probably where my little extension cord is going to go. I'm going to have uh, lead, lead, and remote. Or I'm put the little extension cord up here because this is the smallest, uh, smallest box. And then the um, these two are kind of large or in size. And I put the uh, leads in either of these in the remote so that's that um i haven't just i'm not doing any anything special on here just because uh like i said before i just want to get it done get it simple you know make it simple yet uh yet pretty sleek so not doing anything special there it's been it's raining and, and thundering and lightning and all that kind of stuff but uh this is where i'm going to leave it for now uh i don't know if i'll be back tonight or not yet uh, I got some family stuff going on because it is 4th of July so this is what I got accomplished so far um, I have been videoing a lot of cutting this whatnot just kind of tacking so that's why it's been uh, a little intermittent but anyhow um, I mean these are gonna be some big toolboxes I'm gonna wind up I got a piece of plate over there leftover piece of plate that I'm gonna use for the back uh, back piece here and then I'll wind up probably 
cutting this and mitering this right here a little bit, so not so much of an angle. And then I was gonna make this all one piece, meaning from here to here and then go over, but I do want I do want kind of a, a rounded wheel well, so therefore I'm gonna more or less split this up into several pieces, whereas I might go from like here to here, make this one piece with the uh, wheel well, round a wheel well in it. Um, across here is just gonna get flat flat deck. The goal is still to try to plug along, get to use it. I'm not gonna paint it right away, just wanna be able to get uh, get the boxes on, get some lids on it, yada, 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 so that I can kinda use this thing. Um, I'll probably wind up just putting expanded metal on the bottom of this. So like I said, I might be back tonight, maybe not, I don't know. But this is where we're leaving it off for now. So, you're about to find out though. Oh, also I mentioned this stuff is pretty, uh, you know, that's, that's strong there. Pretty strong. So, anyway guys, we'll see what happens. It's the next day, uh, getting a little bit of a late start today, but we're gonna jump back on it, roll this, uh, you know, make this video here a two day project video, whatever you want to call it. So we're gonna jump back into it. Um, I have this piece here left over from something and it's like 62 inches. And so that's what I'm gonna use for the back end here as far as uh, that'll be my, my tailboard, if you will. Um, so wherever 62-ish inches comes to, I'm gonna go ahead and, and cut, uh, just, just make a little, not real real big but make a little bit of a uh, an angle back on this thing so angle to here come up here go to your fender blah 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 so this is what we're gonna get started on gonna get that cut um, I'm gonna try to cut out like a couple things as far as um, like where the uh, receiver tube will go that way I'm not I don't have to be cutting and throwing sparks up in here I could probably shield it back here you know with something but uh, I just want to minimize that so Okay, so I kind of messed up here uh, a little bit just from what I wanted to do because um, as I'm over there cutting cutting this down to fit, you know, yada, 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 this is uh, three inches above this here, so, <clears throat> you know, that way it gives a little bit of a shelf, you know, to make, to make some, you know, a little tray or something over here, but whatever, but anyhow, uh, I wanted this to come this way a little bit but I kind of screwed that up because I should have just come up this on this piece here. Should have just came up here, but I wanted to come over here that way because I could place a little flat plate across here, making our little shelf in the back here, you know, so if you're standing over it, you know, you're in the toolbox, you got a little bit right here, but that, that's not the case. I, uh, I screwed it up. I guess there's really not much I can do about it at this point, but... Um, I'm gonna incorporate these, you know, uh, some some receiver tubes. This is just two and a half inch uh, tube. Maybe this here can make up my distance I wanted to go. Just cap off the back end, you know, and then carry it on that way so it more or less ties into everything. Could do that. Um, I don't know. If I, if I do that, it, now would be the time to catch it because I could go ahead, place my flat plate here that I want to run from here up to wherever up there. I'm thinking what I want to do with the lights is run just a big, big, uh, I have these here. These are what I have right now. These were going to be used on the second gen bend, but it's not done yet because I just haven't had any time to work on it more or less. But I'm thinking about just putting one, uh, one strip right here, have them go one, maybe just three, three of them across the back 
in like a piece of recess them in a piece of two by three tube or something as a uh, as a uh, perimeter around it. But not sure yet. We'll figure it out. But anyhow, that's the start of the uh, of the bed here. So <sighs> lot lot a lot of work left to do. We'll see what happens. Okay, so got this piece sitting on there. Um, <clears throat> this is with the uh, the bags all the way dumped, so that's pretty much all the lower it's gonna get, which is what I want. Uh, I, I think that'll work for me anyway. Keep keep everything low, keep everything trimmed down, that kind of thing. So uh, here I kind of I don't really know what uh, what I like to do. But the toolbox is going to go right across here on this seam. The 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 what do you call it? The front of the toolbox. So here I'm going to go. I'm just going to put a plate kind of more or less right here. That way, obviously it fills in that gap. Otherwise, we have to weld it. But then it gives me a little shelf, you know, behind here. Maybe just weld on a a one inch uh, flat stock around here. That kind of thing. But the the other box, it's going to go. Just like this, come down here, blah blah blah. So that's more or less what I what I want uh, here. Like I said, I mentioned before, I'm still going to do a uh, you know a rounded fender. So the next piece will that will not next piece, but the piece we'll cut next will be three inches higher than this is right here, and then um, it'll more or less be kind of it'll just just follow the wheel just like so. Um, gotta get my measurement from there to that point though so we can make sure we get that right but once that's more or less done I think I'll I think I'll take this here like so the toolbox is gonna go right here so it's gonna be split it's gonna take a little time to cut it out but it's gonna be split right here and then it's gonna be more or less a flat you know a rolled edge or whatever uh, but then I think I'll transition from here. I think I'll transition down to here. That way it kind of gives it, you know, a little bit of kind of slope to it, whatever. But man, this is going to be a nice, nice big toolbox. So anyway, um, I think the next, uh, I'm going to try to focus on getting one side done. That way I kind of, I'm not, because I've, honestly, I've been sitting here thinking longer than I've been working just because what I how I want to go about things how I want to do things so I think I'm gonna focus on getting one side done and then that way um, the other the other side will just be more or less a uh, a duplicate copy of this side because other other than the fact that from from basically here forward is gonna be different because we're gonna have the uh, the acetylene bottles sitting up over there but anyhow I'm gonna work on this side I'm gonna go ahead and cut the uh, I'll cut this plate this plate might as well go ahead and cut uh, Got our couple plates back here, blah blah blah, and then we'll worry. Then we'll focus on getting this this here one cut out.
Okay, so got that tacked on. Um, anyhow, that's that at the moment. Um, originally, I was going to try to keep uh, keep a little bit less. What was I going to do? I don't remember. But anyway, I was I was off on my guesstimation where the center of the axle was. So this side was right, or what? Yeah, I think this side was right over here, and then this side was a little off. So I just wound up just trimming this out, making it further. I did the same. I already traced out the other piece over there that we're going to use for the other side. So that way, it's just basically a, a carbon copy. Hopefully, it uh, works over there like it did over here. But <clears throat> nonetheless, that's done. And just by you know this this box back here, just by tacking in that. The rest of the sheet metal, I mean, it's it's already stiffened it right up. Um, this plate here, it's got a little bit of a bow to it, but what I plan on doing for the boxes, uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna frame every, all the boxes out with one inch one inch angle iron, like so, so that way, um, in in the past, you know, uh, my toolboxes are there. I have them recessed in just just an inch, and then the uh, lip comes over them. Well, anyway. I want to try to keep this, I want the outside of the box to be right at the outside of this right here. So by offsetting that back there, I can I can bring this over. And water will have a harder time going over and up rather than, you know, just coming up from underneath. So hopefully that'll work out. I think I can be able to do it all all sides. But anyhow, right here is where the box, I want to turn the box right here. Go that way, square it off. I'm not worried about anything special, like I said. Just want to try to get this usable uh, within the next couple videos, and start start working out of it, and then just piecing piecing together where I excuse me where I want it uh, to down the road. So let's let's go ahead and get let's get our box trimmed out. The rest of the uh, the pieces here, um, I think we have yeah should have enough to do to do that. Finish getting this one box kind of trimmed out, not with the the angle yet but just more or less the shape of it. And then we'll probably jump over the other side, work on that. Um, these here boxes are coming out. All right, I need to, I should work on the fuel hose here uh, before anything else really. But <clears throat> anyhow, it gives it a little kind of a nice angle to it, nice shape. But uh, around, you'll see eventually, but around all these boxes, I'm gonna put some half inch round stock just just on the edges so it's not just a uh, you know instead of cutting out a fancy fancy plate to go on top or anything I'm just gonna put some round stock in there that way it kinda um, stiffens everything up but also gives it a, a nice rolled edge without having to do much to it you know just put one piece here weld the entire seam grind down the weld a little bit be done with it uh, same thing with all these that way like if I'm <clears throat> back here if I wanna pull my leads this way or this way, you know, if I have the round stock right here, it's not going to be digging into this edge right here. It'll just be a nice uh, transition over that. I'll put a, probably put a piece of round stock right here just to kind of break that edge as well. But overall, it's coming together. It's taking taking a little longer just because I, you know, I don't really know what I want. This is just this is everything I'm building in my in my head as I go. So it's just taking a little time, you know, figuring and and that kind of thing. But Anyhow, uh, the rest of the day today, I'm just going to try to work on sheet metal, just get all the uh, all the boxes done, and then tomorrow, hopefully, uh, Ethan will be here. I don't I don't know if he will or not, but uh, that'll be a big help. I'm going to try to cut some plasma parts out on the table so that I can make my bottle rack and uh, kind of maybe fancy fancy a couple things up. So I already messed up. Uh, this was supposed to go out here, not where it's at. And I don't really feel like moving it. So this is where it's gonna go now. Do it forever. Yeah, I mean I wanted to put it out here so that whenever I, you know, fit the the back deck piece on or whatnot, you know, more or less it, it'll 
I can weld all three pieces at the same time. Now I got to weld here and here, you know, do extra weld, but whatever. That's my, my mistake. I, you know, I'm over here. I measured this first. You measure that. Okay, cut that. And then, uh, yeah, so, oh well, but anyway, this is a, I mean, this is freaking awesome, honestly. I mean, it's sweet, sweet, sweet. So, anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and cut this little baby piece I need for here. And then I might as well jump over here, get this piece cut, start on this. Um, yeah, but anyhow, um, we got some family coming over tonight, so this might be cut shorter than I want it, but uh, anyhow, I'm going to work till till they more or less get here. Uh, they're coming away from Maryland, so gonna going to catch up with them, and uh, so we'll see how far we get tonight, but nonetheless, we'll pick back up on it tomorrow morning. Uh, so anyway, let's let's see what we can get accomplished tonight, though. Okay, everyone, this is where it's going to get left tonight. Um, I know it doesn't look like a lot, but uh, like I mentioned before, I mean, I, I've been I've been thinking more than I've actually been building just because I want to make sure everything's good and good and how I want it. So maybe I'll just have one acetylene, one oxygen. I don't know yet, but um, anyway, I'm going to put the bottles in from this side. That way... Uh, you keep, I keep, you know, turn this bottle on here, turn this bottle on here, and I'm thinking about having my hose reel sit here, and then have, have it on a swivel or something that mounts here, to where when I want to use it, I can swivel it out, blah, 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 and then when I'm not using it, swivel, swivel back, lock it in place here. Um, but what I'm thinking here, the, the bottle will come out to, the, the top of the bottle will come out essentially to this right here, so... I was going to try to build a, a bigger box to have some rods, you know, the welding rods in here, but it's not going to work to match to match the other side. Uh, it's not going to be deep enough, and or it might be in the way of uh, the bottle and whatnot. So I'm just going to make kind of a little. I might make a little dry box here, maybe, um, you know, to keep I don't know whatever else in. But I'll probably just wind up putting the boxes or rods maybe in the back seat or uh, in the toolbox or whatever. But anyhow, um, family's family got here a little bit ago from from Maryland, so that's where it's gonna sit tonight, guys. Uh, gonna try to get at least tomorrow. Gonna try to at least get uh, lights in it, get the bottle rack done. Just trying to get the bottles and, and and the boxes finished up. Everything else is, can can stay like it is more or less for now, because um, I do actually need more plate. Uh, I thought I had more here than what I got, so I'll have to get another another piece of plate, I think. That's gonna wrap up this video. Let me know what you guys think. Um, coming along, coming along pretty well. And like I said before, this truck, I'm, I'm thinking about selling it, so if you, anyone is, is interested in it, let me know. Um, you know, because of the air suspension, this bed is more or less custom to this truck. Uh, so, you know, they kinda have to go together and or, uh, you know, you'd have to kind of modify your own truck if you wanted the bed or whatever. So that being said, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. So this will wrap up part two. Part three uh, will be coming here shortly. But I just want to say thanks for watching, everyone, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks, guys.